Well, I go on, it's your boy Big Nasty, BDL based defense, like, eh. People have crazy debates all the time. What do you call planting? Planting. Ah! This barbershop is a gladiator's arena. Oh, I'm gonna be the referee. And helping me settle these scores is my dogs. Esther, she's a powerful woman and she knows her shit. Mango, he's the apprentice, but he does think he knows it all. Then you got Steve, my barber, doggy. You got my bro, mad one. He's mad. But he has got some good logic behind his madness. Bringing this week's beef, Steve or the madman and Stacey Solomon. You just pushed a human out, out of your vagina. We'll be settling everything from what you eat to how you're handling your life on a big man thing. We talk about deep stuff, silly stuff, and stuff what's in the general people's mind. Like all clubs are off. So gladiators prepare for battle. Black up. Let's settle this. What is the best meal deal munch on your lunch break? Treat yourself, you've got seven pounds. So, boom, it's two patties, chicken patties, cheesy beef patty. I'll go to Nando's and get a kid's meal. It's three wings. I like a bit of the spicy chips. The meal itself is about six pounds. For free? <laughs> for free hot wings? I'm a real eater. Free hot wings, I just get mad. mad. I just get real angry at the chef. What I can stomach and finish and say I'm full is, is free wings. Would you be happy if you had four? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching my weight, so please. <laughs> for everyone who's trying to be on a diet and watch their weight, free hot wings for £6 is acceptable. But if you're on the streets, yeah, and you're trying to bring it back, no way. Chicken triple, first year. Bop, bop. What's a chicken triple? Uh, so you get bacon and chicken. Chicken and stuffing, stuffing then chicken salad. Then, of course, get my cheeky little Victoria sponge cake. OK. And then I get my juice for a bit of energy. Then I got four pounds left. Enough blood. Yeah. Yeah. Cod special. <laughs> I, I, you know, I know, you're, you're going in hard, yeah. man, bro. The cod is special, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Just, your stop or you're still going? But I got four pounds left. I got four pounds left. Roof it, mango. Ah. Roof it. Of course, you don't have crips yet, so I'll get the big Cheetos, the flaming hot ones. I have 99 p Yeah. Now there's three pounds left. Of course, because you want something that's kind of hot as well, you need to get proper food. Man will get cheeky four wings, but you know you have to go to a rack chicken and chips, but that's the fat wings. Now you win. So you're getting meat. You yeah, I got two pounds left now. You can add it on for tomorrow, and now tomorrow you have nine pounds. So you can even match it. so African. No, no <laughs> that is so no. fucking African. You man said like that. <laughs> Mango, yeah, it's a man. has got the best hustle for the meal. Serious. He's going to start running courses, the Mango course, cos. <laughs> he's got the blueprint, cos. Sick. The best meal deal goes to Mango, yeah? It had flavours, a variety of snacks, yeah? And also, man had two pounds to re-up on the day after. So best meal is going to meat, chicken and rice. <laughs> Hey, Mango, Steve, Kanye West did you, man. He gave you the Kanye West. He, he, he did. He ran up on the stage, man. Hey, Steve. Simple. But I gotta be strong. You did me wrong. Tell me you won't. Some Essex this glam in the shop, Miss Solomon. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm so excited. Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you? You're right. Pleasure. Yeah, I'm good. Are you? Yeah, we're speaking, isn't it? It's so hot. I can't wait to move this hair away from my head. <laughs> so, Miss Solomon, what are we selling? Do dads care about being beach body ready? Because you know, there's that whole mum bod thing and 
like they're a bit really self-conscious about getting their bodies out and being on holiday in their bikinis. Man, you wax their chest. Yeah. Yeah. And always roll with Vaseline. Yeah. <laughs> their man there will definitely fit the fit them prescriptions. Man like me, yeah. It's mad. As soon as I knew that my spunk gun worked, yeah. I didn't give a shit about my body. I've made life. You looking all suck my dick. That's how I feel about the whole world. No offense. Where do you get that confidence from, though? I've always been confident. The only thing what, what made me a bit insecure, though, I had the perfect Buddha belly. Yeah? It was firm, solid, round, and just vibrant. Even though I was fat, my skin was always tight. As Soon as I lost weight, I got stretch marks. <laughs> no Spider-Man when he fights the Sandman and that. <laughs> and I said, like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sagging, I'm sagging, I'm sagging. <laughs> yeah? That's what made me feel unsexy. What about now? So, like, now when you go on holiday, are you just, like, yeah. don't even care? I'll back out this thing. <laughs> I'm, like, shallow hound. Whatever size I am or whatever I look like, I think, wow, I'm amazing. <laughs> yeah, and so you should do that. My sister used to go, you've got toilet paper hanging out your knickers. <laughs> you, you, you've got hairy legs. You've got, like, everything going wrong. And you're still walking around like you own the place and I'm you're on right. the catwalk. <laughs> and But then I think, if I think I'm pretty, then I am pretty, right? Yeah, no one can tell us whether we're, like, good enough or not good enough. Yeah. Everyone is painted to be slim, you know, perfect. perfect. Like, and I'm just Man's like... Man's not about that, like. Yeah, but... What am I going to do with just a pretty face? <laughs> Come <laughs> on, But also... That's the main yeah. reason for the body changement, the hair, this, yeah. and... Yeah. That's yeah. the same yeah. thing. Yeah. That's that the there's problem. only one pretty in society. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, hold on a second. They're just one type of pretty. That's the massive issue when I'm going back to the mum body thing with people then going out on holiday and getting in a bikini because mm -hmm. you're going to think, I don't even want to get my body out because yeah. it don't look like any of the bodies I've been seeing for the mm -hmm. past six months. My assessment is this, yeah? In that environment, when you're with your kid and that, other people find you attractive should be the last thing you moan. You should be in the vibe of playing with your kid and being happy and enjoying it. respect that, yeah. You know what I mean? I walk my dog and my daughter bare-chested, dog lead in one hand and wet wipes in the other. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? I'm not here to be cool. Do you get what I mean? I'm here to be on some real daddy shit right now. So in the deepest settle and that, forget what you look like, go spend some time with your uteri boy. Yes. Fuck up! Oh, yeah. yeah. Now I'm going to go head to head with Snapchat King Steve O, the madman. So come on, what's been happening? I'm here to challenge you today. I'm going to be a Scouse MC. But you speak Scouse all the time, and you MC, bro. Are you trying to do me? You're Steve O, the madman, though. I've got a little accent. Yeah, I, can yeah, do, I can do South African. One time, I was going fishing in South Africa, and I called a koala bear. And it came out, and it was massive, real big, so we can catch up on the koala bear, you know? Ah, yeah, look at you. Rate me. Rate me, please. Proper South African. I'm going to some proper Scottish Glasgow. Well, then do Scottish, then. Iron Brew is a drink for real girders. Yeah? And you and fucking long shanks. That's Scouse! No, that's not! That's Scouse! No, it's not. That was Scouse. I said long shanks and I'm bre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not fucking. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Um, what is that? What's that? Get to the chopper! We have to get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, mate. Oh. What the fuck are you doing now, fella? Where are we? Just hit the fucking George Ken. Got a little bit of fucking scran. We just got past fucking two dogs fighting. Do you know what I mean? Safe like base. Nasty. Warm to you. What do you mean? Are you come here and me I come there and buck foot the thing there? You sound like cool running. <laughs> That's a cosmopolitan Jamaican. Oh, I can't walk, bro. That was good. Whoa, 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 This time, I'm going to settle this. And the winner is. Yes! I wanted it! I wanted it! I wanted it! I wanted it! Yes! So what have you been doing with yourself, anyway? Doing loads of stuff with loose women, which I love. Why is it called loose women? I think it's because we're loose talking. Yeah. You know, like, we talk about anything. We cover all areas. Let me tell you something real, then, yeah? Go on. Boom. <laughs> Bust Pandora's box. So let's break this urban myth, yeah? that women ain't as horny as guys. I 
think it depends what woman. I think it's very subjective. Oh, what makes like, you say that? Because, you know, like, for example, like, when you're pregnant, like, you're a mother, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Exactly, I'm a mum. Like, when you're pregnant, you'll be surprised, like, you want to get it in. Like, you want to get it in. Like... Sweet. <laughs> yeah, See, I, I the opposite. <laughs> when I was trying for a baby, that was like, yes, every day, please. Like, because mm -hmm. my brain knew that's what I wanted and, mm -hmm. you know. But, like, when I was pregnant, I was like, it's done. Like, the, the, the oh, job's like, done. So <laughs> you're an Operation Blue Bulls. You're, you're, you're a horrible person. So why when the man needed sex now and go somewhere is a problem, but you no, got no, a lot no. of... No, hold on. Uh, you just pushed a human out, out of your you. vagina. Exactly. Like, yeah. how are no, you trying to come back? <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. No, we're not saying that. No. We're saying two months has gone past. Okay. Three yeah? months, six three, months. Three months gone past. Still holding on. See, yeah, see yeah, men's right. ballbacks, yeah? yeah? Look like space hoppers. <laughs> men start putting their willy in the mirror, like, There definitely has to be consideration, like, is, it, is my thing okay? You know At the same like... time, on a man's part, you also need to take the time to ask questions. Yeah, it's know? communication yeah, it's is communication. key. Like, yeah. If you're having an issue and neither of you are speaking about it, that's when people end up doing silly things and going elsewhere. Yeah, exactly. Also, yeah. also, I didn't know it was so true, yeah? Post, post, a mental depression. Yeah, yeah. How do you do with a person who says, I'm okay, I'm okay? When I have my eldest, I had postnatal depression and I didn't even wow. know I had it. Wow. Like, so you could ask me, am I okay? And I'd say yes, because in my brain I thought, yeah, I'm okay. This is like what I'm supposed to feel like, I suppose. And I think that having like my mum and you know people around me who were like, this isn't okay, you need help, always makes the situation better. Truth be told, yeah, after my daughter was born, yeah, I had to walk down like the longest aisle in the hospital, yeah. I was like, I couldn't lift my head up. Yeah. After seeing, like, yeah, what, 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 what my baby mom went through, yeah, I felt so, like, overwhelmed by, like, how strong you are. Yeah. Like, uh, that's the yeah. nicest thing ever. It's superhero stuff what you lot oh, are doing in there. Yeah. Like, you suck the gas, yeah, you lot power up. It's a lot of power. It's a lot, a it's lot crazy. of power. It's crazy. And not even that, it's also about after having a baby, I did not feel sexy. I did not feel like I was the same, same person I was. But She's also, saying. it's that like scary, because yes, you think, scary. I don't know if it's going to fall apart well, yeah, when we do You just yeah. say it's going to fall apart. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, it's scary. The only way it's going to go pear shape if man looks down. <laughs> Let's settle this. As a man, that is the most powerful moment in your life. You keep your blood clot head there, <laughs> above waist high. You hold her hand, look into her eyes, Bridget, and tell her powerful stuff that it's all gonna be okay. <laughs> Do not fuck up the base. Yeah, it's deep. It is deep. Well, it... mine is now really deep. <laughs> 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 After two kids, it's like a tunnel. Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! Moving on. <laughs> And you are all done, darling. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh, I love Looking it. Looking good, girl. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> Honestly, I have had the best day. Thank you, man. Hope, hope I could have been of service. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. So, Mango. Yeah? You dating? No. I just kind of don't know how much to get started, to be honest. If you need advice on how to speak to women, why don't you come and ask me? All right, Esther, I'm asking now. You have to approach a woman like a gentleman. Say, hello, what's your name? And also, always ask a woman how her day's been before you ask for her number. That's nice, definitely. And if she is rude to you, just be like, do you know what? Good day, and walk off. There's plenty of different fishes in the sea, mate. Shark, plenty. dolphins, piranhas. Don't catch the piranhas, <laughs> though. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Where's Big Nasty? I know, man. He's taking his time. Well, go on, lads. Well, go on, Nasty. You good? How's, How's it going? You all right? You good? <laughs> How are we doing? So, what's the problem? What do you think about us being able to take our tops off on sites? It's hot and out. This heat wave Health and safety. We've got to wear the long sleeves. Why you got to wear long sleeves? They say it's dangerous. No, that's bollocks, man. Yeah. Quick settle, yeah? Yeah. Health and safety, do one, yeah? <laughs> if it's one. over 30 degrees, man's keeping it bare-chested like the Diet Coke advert, and you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> right, 
That donut shop down the road, what do you call it? Crispy what? Crispy creams. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He calls it crispy creams. It's crispy creme, mate. It's crispy creme. Yeah, it's a okay. K. How's it called creme? It's cream, isn't it? What colour's your fucking passport? <laughs> you sick oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, bro. You lost that one. All right, any more, lads? Best biscuits on site for tea break? Bourbons or custard cream? I would go with a custard cream. Custard oh, cream, yes. Nah, for me. It's that long. <laughs> more dunking. Custard cream's more time. Oh, that's got, that's got scientific back views. That's got back <laughs> scientific views. To settle this one, I think you just spend an extra 30 pence and get both of them. Yeah. That's custard true. creams that's and true. bourbons, fam. OK, we're we'll settled on that. Yeah, we'll bro. <laughs> on the rebound, my Gs. Done, no. I baby, on the floor, on the floor. More bass line, party stereo, stereo. Bring a party, hot jam, hot jam. Call me the city, hot the jam, hot the jam. Hear me booty in the ear, 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 Super sounds, you know. <laughs> Super <laughs> sounds. Do you suck the ice on it or do you bite the ice on it? Everything. I like the, the feeling of biting it. But I'm not doing suck nothing. <laughs> so you, what do you do? Crunch. <laughs> no. Well, go on. Hey, how's it going? You all right? So what are you in the barbershop for? Well, I got a lot of chest hair, you know what I mean? I go out with a girl, he, like, go to a restaurant, next thing you know, there's a little hair there. Oh, you know what I mean? That like, pisses me off, you know? You're, you're shedding hair like my dog. That's, that's the thing, I work in a kebab shop as well. I mean, next thing you want, you're wrapping up your chips and you see your hair there. Oh, God. And I've been watching these guys on Instagram, clean shaved chest. They're looking good, you know? I'm thinking to do, I, I, I don't know what to do, though. Well, let's see what you're talking about. Reza Ramon. Hey! Holy shit. Oh, that's a lot of hair. I bet the camera on that. I don't want to see that reaction. That's why I want to get rid of it. Because look, see me, yeah? Cause I got skin tags on my chest. Like I got them on my eyes. It's just a family thing. And people say you can get them lasered off and all of that shit. But I think my skin tags add character to my body. But the only good thing is my skin tags ain't end up in no one's food. Mm -hmm. I understand. So you got to make yourself happy. It's the self love for yourself. When I look at myself in the mirror, yeah? I have to be careful I don't do myself a sexual harassment. Wow. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Wow. And that love shows to the rest of the world. If you do to go all off, half off, a quarter off, it don't stop you doing for what you want to do. But what? it does stop the hair from getting in the kebab. Sit now, you're right. I don't want to concentrate on that. Whole thing's got to go. It's got to go, yeah. man. And then, bruh, live your life for it, bro. <laughs> so, big man, if you don't want to wax at all, you can rock one of these stylish ones. Hair back, like graphic. <laughs> a girl's gonna like that though. You never know. It's artistic. Look at that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's got the back. We do one for me, do one for me. I'd rather keep my hair instead of doing that. So that's settled. Hairy front and back. A myth around food. Save that base. <laughs> Let's settle this. Should parents be allowed on social media? Boom. So my mum is all up in my Instagram live stories. She will try and at Eminem and Craig David. <laughs> I talk about her charity. <laughs> and just go on my Instagram live. And say what? And, Just... and say powerful scriptures from the Bible. I like the fact that my mum's kind of in it with the things that no. I'm going on. No, then it is. It depends when it's being done. Because, for instance, I want like, my dad tried to comment on LinkedIn. That's a, that's a serious place to be. But, yeah. And he's saying, he's saying sunny, not even sun, sunny. I'm like, yo. <laughs> my mum, like, before, when she first started using social media, she used to put angry face when she's supposed to put a kiss. I say, Mum, like, do you know what you put? My mum already, she won't type to me in English, so I don't think the emoji thing will come up. So oh, <laughs> she's not sending me no emoji. 
Well, my mom, she sent the right, correct one because you know what I did? I teach her how to use them. Mm. So, my mom is all right with it. She sent the right emojis, so yeah. My mom just used the basic one lot. She just sticks to the love heart, sticks to the Yeah, kiss. the kiss and the yeah, smiles and, and, the, and the, smile, queen, yeah, the, the thumbs up. Yeah, the thumbs up. Yeah, the thumbs up. The thumbs up is the classic. Yeah. It's a nice love. This one's settled. After a big dispute, it's OK for parents to use social media. But if your parents are moving like Amstrad, keep them off social media. Do you get what I mean? But man, don't be trying to send your mum no pink, no, no, no the pink cucumber. It's, it's purple, it's purple. Uh, purple. Yeah. Got the purple <laughs> garden egg. <laughs> <laughs> Violation of fam!